Hello all and welcome to today's Sefer portion. Today we're going to be reading a Sefer. Shemo Exodus 23 and 24, chapter 23. You shall not raise a false report. Put not your hand with the wicked. To be an utter, ut, ne, unrighteous witness. You shall not follow a multitude to do evil. Neither shall you speak in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. Neither shall you countenance a poor man in his case. If you meet your enemy's ox or his ass going astray, you shall surely bring it back to him again. If you see the ass of him that hates you lying under his burden, and you would forbear to help him, you shall surely help with him. You shall not rest the judgment of your poor in this cause. Keep far from a false matter. In the innocent and righteous slay you not, for I will not justify the wicked. And you shall take no gift, for the gift blinds the wise and perverts the, the words of the righteous. You shall not, also you shall not oppress a stranger, for ye know all at the heart of a stranger, seeing ye were strangers in the land of the Mishraim. In six years you shall sow all at your land. And shall gather it all up of it, the fruits thereof. But the seventh year you shall let it rest and lie still, that the poor of your people may eat, and what they leave the beasts of the field shall eat. In like manner you shall deal with your vineyard and with your olive yard. Six days you shall do work, and on the seventh day you shall rest, that your ox and your ass may rest, and the son of your handmaid and the stranger may be refreshed. And in all things that I have said unto you, be guarded, and make no mention of the name of other Elohim, neither let it be heard out of your mouth. Three times you shall keep a feast unto me in the year. You shall guard all of Tabet the feast of Masasa. You shall eat Masasa seven days, as I commanded you in the time appointed of the month of Eve. For in it you came out from Mishraim. And none shall appear before me empty, and the feast of Shavuot, the first fruits of your labors which you have sown, in the field, and the feast of Sukkot, which is at the end of the year, when you have gathered in all of it, your labors out of the field, three times of the year, you, all your males shall appear before Adonai Yahuwah. You shall not offer the blood of my sacrifice with Hametz. Sorry, Hametz. Neither shall the fat of my sacrifice remain until morning, the first of the first fruits of your land. You shall bring into the house of Yahuwah Elohika. You shall not seethe a kid in his mother's milk. Behold, I send an angel before you to guard you in the way, and to bring you into the place which I have prepared. Beware of him, and obey his voice. Provoke him not, for he will not pardon your transgressions, for my name is in him. But you, if you shall indeed obey his voice and do all that I speak, then I will be all of Tavet, an enemy unto your enemies, and all of Tavet, an adversary unto your adversaries. For my angel shall go before you and bring you in unto the Emorim, and the Shittim, and the Prazim, and the Canaanim, and the Shibim, and the Yuvukasim. And I will cut them off. You shall not bow down to their Elohim, nor serve them, nor do after their works. But you shall utterly, utterly overthrow them, and quite break down their images. And ye shall serve Allah Kavet Yehuah Elohim. And he shall be blessed. Sorry. And he shall bless Allah Kavet your bread, and Allah Kavet your water. And I will take sickness away from the midst of you. There shall nothing cast their young, nor be burden in your in your land. Allah Tavet, the number of your days will be sorry, will I will fulfill. I will send Allah Tavet my fear before you, and will destroy Allah Tavet, the people to whom ye shall come. And I will make Allah Tavet your enemies turn their backs unto you, and I will send Allah Tavet hornets before you, which shall drive out Allah Tavet the Shivai, and Allah Tavet the Kani sorry the Kanani. And Allah Tavet the Shittai. 
and before you from before you, and I will not drive them out from before you in one year, lest the land become desolate, and the beasts of the field multiply against you. By little and little I will drive them out from before you, until you be increased, and inherit all Tavet the land, and I will set all of Tavet your bounds from the Red Sea, even unto the Sea of the Palestine, and from the desert unto the river, for I will deliver the inhabitants of the land into your hand, Aleph Tavet, and you shall drive them out before you. You shall make no covenant with them, nor with your Elohim. Sorry, with their Elohim. They shall not dwell in your land, lest they make you sin against me. For if you serve Aleph Tavet their Elohim, it will surely be a snare unto you. Chapter 24. And he said unto Moshe, Come up. Unto El Yahuwah, you and Aaron and Nadav and Abihu and seventy of the elders of Israel, and worship ye afar off, and Moshe alone shall come near El Yahuwah, but they shall not come nigh, neither shall the people go up with him. And Moshe came and told the people of Tavet the words of Yahuwah and all of Tavet the judgments, and all the people answered with one voice and said, All the words which Yahuwah has said we will do. And Moshe wrote all of Tavet, all the words of Yahuwah, and rose up early in the morning, and built an altar under the hill, and twelve pillars according to the twelve tribes of the of Israel. And he sent all of Tavet young men of the children of Israel, which offered burnt offerings and sacrificed peace offerings of oxen unto Yahuwah. And Moshe took half of the blood, and put it in basins, and half of the blood he sprinkled on the altar. And he took the sephir of the covenants and read in the audience of the people, and they said, All that Yahuwah has said, we will do, and be obedient. And Moshe took all of Tavet the blood and sprinkled it on the people, and said, Behold the blood of the covenant which Yahuwah has made with you concerning all these words. Then went up Moshe and Aaron, and Nadav, and Avihu, and, and seventy of the elders of Israel, and they saw all of Tavet the Elohim of Israel, and there was under his feet as it were a paved work of sapphire stone, and as it were the body of heaven in his clearness. And upon the nobles of the children of Israel he laid not his hand. Also they saw of Tavet Elohim, and did eat and drink. And Yahuwah said unto Moshe, Come up to me in the mount, and be there. And I will give you all of Tavet sapphire stones, and all of Tavet, sorry, all of Tavet sapphire stones and a Torah and commandments, which I have written, that you may teach them. And Moshe rose up in his minister Yehusha, and Moshe went up into the mount of Elohim, and he said unto the others, Tear ye here for us, until we come again unto you. And behold, Aaron and Troy are with you. If any men have any matters to do, let him come unto them. And Moshe went up into the mount, and a cloud covered all of Tavet the mount, and the glory of Yahuwah abode upon Mount Sinai. And the cloud covered in six days and the seventh day he called unto Moshe out of the midst of the cloud. And the sight of the glory of Yahuwah was like devouring fire on the top of the mount in the eyes of the children of Israel. And Moshe went into the midst of the cloud and got him up into the mount, and Moshe was in the mount forty days and forty nights. Well, that is today's read. Until next time, I hope everybody has a great night and a fantastic tomorrow.